What is up you guys? Welcome to a new video and today I am going to be doing a wig unboxing from a company that I ordered from online and I gotta say that when I ordered from them I did not really pay attention to I guess what kind of company they were in the sense that I did not really realize that they were going to be a lot like an AliExpress or a Wish type company in the sense that yes they are Asian but also that they might sell products that are deceiving um, and very unsimilar to what is actually shown in their product pictures. So for Halloween, as you know, this year's theme for my house was Beetlejuice and my costume also was Beetlejuice. I'll insert a photo here. Um, the wig that I'm wearing in that picture is actually not the wig that I had originally ordered because, again, not realizing that it was coming from China, I did not anticipate waiting that almost month that it took for it to arrive. So the day of Halloween, I'm literally there like freaking out, like what am I gonna do? I need to go and find a wig for my costume tonight is Halloween. You know, it's a pandemic. I, I didn't want to go into a beauty supply store. I didn't want to be shopping for wigs. I was like, honestly, any green one, any neon one, like I just need something that would work. And so she reaches in and at the top, there is a, the bright green wig that I did buy. And she was like, how about this one? And I was like, I don't know. Um, but I just took a shot and went for it because I knew, you know, it was already three o'clock in the afternoon on Halloween and I probably wasn't gonna find a green wig. Also, it's a pandemic. I didn't want to travel to 50 different stores in search of one. So I wound up having to buy that secondary wig, which did turn out to work, you know, really great. I really like it. I think it's so much cuter than what I got. But then I got home and of course, 20 minutes later, what should show up in the mailbox? But my wig. It was about a month and change later that the wig took to arrive and it was expensive. I paid like 50 bucks after tax and shipping for that and I chose like the longest length. It came in like 32 inches and I was like hell yeah I'm dramatic. I want a super long wig. There's no way that this wig is that long. So I didn't even save the original packaging that it came in. It was just like one of those standard like bag mailers. Um, so I, I threw it away pretty quickly because I was excited to try it on. And listen, I've really tried to make this wig work, okay? I've put in a bunch of dry shampoo and a bunch of baby powder and like any other trick that I could find online to make it work and it's still so shiny. And this is like a different level of synthetic shiny. So let me go ahead and start by showing just like the basic kind of construction of the cap because I'm always interested in that. So as you can see, this hairline is stunning. Look, I, look, it's so shiny. The camera lighting is freaking out. Let me actually turn off my lights. Maybe this will help. Okay, so as you can see there, the hairline is beautiful. It's all hand knotted and you do get a good amount of lace. So the inner construction of the cap, um, it's all an all mesh wig cap and you do have like the little piece of lace down there at the base and then it does have the adjustable tabs and it's literally all just one giant and you can see like how closely sewn the tracks are together. So this is a very dense wig which is nice because I have a lot of hair and I need a lot of hair on my head. Um, so it comes with three clips. There's one, two, and the third one is on the side there. And then the entire lace, like you get about an inch of the hand tied hairline on the sides and then it dips in about another inch there. So kind of the whole like front portion of the scalp would be on the lace and, and then the regular lace goes up into the crown and then that's where you start with the um, tracks. So those aspects are nice but I, I don't know if you can even again it's just so shiny it's like this thing is crazy shiny and this is like different from normal level of shine like she is this hair feels like it's like Barbie doll hair. It's just so 
like silky it's it's weird it's not like any synthetic hair that I've ever had and compared to what it was supposed to look like look at this fucking bangs what it was supposed to look like which was this this ain't it sis so I I don't know I mean I've watched a lot of videos I watched a lot of videos before I ordered from them because I was nervous that it was a scam and I wanted to make sure that it wasn't and a lot of the reviews that are on YouTube I will just say are a lot of them are from white girls who are just into cosplay and they're all getting hard front wigs and those are actual cosplay wigs I'm not wearing this for cosplay like if I'm gonna wear it I'm gonna wear it because I want to go for a whole Beetlejuice vibe in like regular clothing like hello me and this detox could be twins here like that's what I'm going for I'm wearing it to wear it I didn't really know what to expect I mean it seemed like people were getting their hair which I think was the biggest thing but I only saw like one or two reviews on actual lace front wings and the one that I did see was beautiful the hairline was beautiful the quality looked good so I was like okay okay I'll fuck with it but this is just like so enough talking let me go ahead and try this on here so I'm literally just going to take my hair out I didn't brush it after I took a shower last night so I just kind of put it in I think the earrings are gonna have to come off for this these are these earrings by the way they're little plastic cockroaches how cute are they my friend made these for me I hope you're watching bitch okay. sorry muckle break okay so, I really gotta step my editing game up, and I'm gonna start to do, like, in, in Pee Wee, um, when they would have the, somebody would say the, the uh, secret word, the magic word, and they would make all sorts of noise, um, noise, noise, all sorts of noise, I'm gonna, um, start doing that for Malka Break. Yeah! <laughs> So I'm just going to use a regular stocking cap first and then I'm going to go over it with a mesh stocking cap because uh, a bitch got a big head and I want to make sure that, oop, I can get it all under there. See, I did get one of those like wig grip headbands too, but bitch, I cannot get those shits to stay on my head neither. Like, I don't know what it is. I'm honestly really tempted to just shave off my fucking head. Like... It's just not even worth it at this point. This wig cap is all sorts of stretched out. And like, holy, I really need to get rid of it and get a new one. I bought a couple recently, but I don't know what I did with them. I think this wig would be one that you really need to have your, um, your edges like totally laid for it. I'm not going to um, glue it down because it's like midnight and... I don't want to wash my face that hard. I wasn't going to take a bath after this. I was literally just going to go to bed. Um, but, okay. So, um, but I, I will cut the lace so we can see there. Okay, so I, since my head is so big, I actually don't um, tighten the bands in the back. Okay, so I'm just trying to get the grip underneath my hair I think it would need like an extra comb in the back though so the thing is like it fits well on the head I don't even have the combs in the hairline does look good but and the hair doesn't look bad like on camera other than the fact that it's really I have my lights dulled right now but if I turn them up all the way whoa bitch whoa actually you know I'm doing all this complaining but she does look really cute on camera so maybe this is just a wig that you only wear for like filming and not for anything else um, um Oh, I think my braid is all wonky here. Reposition hair. Also, like, I don't know. Actually, I guess, like, you can do, see a pretty good job of it not going through the tracks. I really would need to, like, I mean, if I was going to wear this, like, for real, for real, I would have my hair braided better. 
because this bump right here that's just my um my braids she actually is cute but as you can see she's already pulling because that was my real hair showing through it just feels like and I don't know if it's because of the style of the cap either that it's or like like of the base of the cap not the stocking cap I'm wearing um, if it's just like super slippery then it's kind of sliding off like that oh god I went where are you I hate that actually and on camera too like I feel like the lace blends pretty well okay from far away I'm scared to cut it though I feel like that's I don't know okay but the main thing is like like I said <laughs> I just wanted to have in the picture it had all of this volume you see how like tank like I'm literally just flipping it over and it's already in a knot knot like and it's supposed to be one of those like you know free form hairlines so this is gonna need work and again it's already slipping so um but uh I did fucking when I bought it I bought the like I said like 36 inches I think it was which that is not no 36 inches like what is that what is that I can't say I think you're already seeing my underwear <laughs> that is not 36 inches you know I would move more but I'm not wearing any pants and I don't want you to see my underwear um I just feel like it looks cheap I don't know I'm not super impressed by it I think like if you laid it right it would look good I don't even want to cut the, and I, you know, you definitely need to cut baby hairs, but it was already supposed to have all that, and again, like, maybe that's my own damn fault for not having, like, really looked and seen that it was uh, one of these, again, like, these Chinese websites that, um, sells, like, fake pictures of shit, but, um, I don't know, I'm disappointed. I guess I just thought, like, Again, for the price, like, for it being 60 bucks, like, I wish that I would have at least gotten the right length. And then I did try to, like, look up and see if I could, like, re like exchange it. But when I looked anyway, like, it was all out of the length that I bought. So I think that maybe the reason they sent me this is because they probably oversold. And when they finally got to processing my order, um, they didn't have the size I had originally ordered, originally wanted. And so they sent me this instead, um, which I wish had been communicated because there was also a price difference. It was like $10 different to get the real one. I'm not going to cut the lace there, but I am going to at least cut. Oh my God, I'm scared because I don't even have my glasses on and I'm fucking blind. It's just kind of above my eyebrows so I can see that because look, there's already. Watch me cut my finger. Okay. Oh God. It's already sliding up so much. I'll just do that. I don't know. Um, I just feel like this is maybe one of those that, like, that would look really nice. Like, if it was laid. Like, look how pretty that would look. See, like, that hairline is gorgeous. However, the hair sucks and it's not what I wanted it to be it was supposed to be a lot longer like what is this that's a little bit better um okay so moral of the story we are not impressed pulling back a little bit but I don't know if I would ever purchase one of these again I feel like again like if you're doing like plain kind of cosplay and like don't need like something that looks legit like I'm just tucking under lace right now like go for it but um 
one, anticipate to get the wrong length, two, anticipate to have to wait 3,000 years for it to arrive, and three, anticipate to not have the best quality hair. So, I don't know. I always tuck my head, hair behind my ear, which always looks like, I think, a dead giveaway, but what do you think? I don't know. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> Moral of the story, again, like, if you're willing to risk it, maybe give it a shot, but for me, I'm probably never going to purchase from them again. I think that there are probably a lot more wig retailers that you could buy from. As far as, like, funky colored fashion wigs, the only ones that I've gotten before were still kind of more on the natural side in the terms that they were, like, midnight blue. So this is definitely, like, midnight blue or midnight purple. So this is definitely, like, the first, like, crazy color kind of fashion wig that I've purchased. Uh, maybe those wigs are just suited for a higher price point, but again, it was, like, Halloween, and I didn't want to spend that money, and that might have been my fault. Um, I think if you're going to be wanting to have a high-quality wig in a color that's as unique as that, you're really going to have to invest the money. And I guess, yeah, you get what you pay for. It's true, right? I mean, as a whole, I'm still really happy with the wig that I originally wore. Again, that one is from Motown Tresses. I'll try to find the link to it. Um, in one of the online beauty stores and link that below because that one is really cute and I did get a good couple compliments on it so um, anyway let me know if you guys have had any experience with light in the box I think I keep calling them wear light which is actually the eyeglasses place which is great by the way I'm getting a new order from them soon so I'll definitely be sure to show those off but yeah let me know if you've had any experience with light in the box have you ever ordered wigs from an online supplier if so who are they affordable how do you make them look good because this was not it hun make sure to leave a thumbs up and click that subscribe button we'll catch you guys in the next one bye